and welcome to Get Started Fast with Sibelius and Surface Pro 3. My name is Toby Sheriff, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the power and flexibility available when using Notate Me with Sibelius. With the Surface Pen, it's possible to handwrite directly into the score in much the same way you would with pen and paper. Your handwriting will be converted into notation, which can then be sent directly to Sibelius for further editing and proofing. This has the potential to save a lot of time, especially if you sketch in paper before inputting notes into Sibelius. Let's take a look at how it works. Photoscore and Notate Me Lite comes bundled with Sibelius and allows you to handwrite music directly onto the Surface Pro. It offers a single staff for jotting down notes and ideas, while Photoscore and Notate Me Ultimate, which comes bundled with Sibelius Plus Ultimate, allows full scores to be created and features additional musical symbols. For example, Notate Me Ultimate supports cue notes, articulations, slurs, dynamics, double accidentals, chord symbols, lyrics, and other text-based markings. I will point out some more differences between Notate Me Lite and Ultimate throughout the video. This demonstration will go over the basics, setting up a new score, using the five pen tools to input, edit, and erase notes and symbols, and a few other things that will help you get started. While it's previously been possible to write with a finger, handwriting becomes simple and accurate with the Surface Pen. Notate Me will take advantage of the pen's two side buttons, but the top button is currently reserved for launching Microsoft OneNote, so we can ignore it for the remainder of this video. To show an example of how Notate Me can integrate with Sibelius, I'll give a quick demonstration of the entire workflow. Here I have a score I've been working on in Sibelius. I have the saxophones how I'd like them, but I want to add some melody in the flute. I'm pretty comfortable adding the part with my MIDI keyboard, but I'm out of my studio and I'd rather just do it by hand. So I'll just switch over to Notate Me and quickly sketch my idea with the Surface Pen. Later in the video I'll describe the process of entering notes in more detail, but for now we're just getting an idea of the overall process. Once the part has been entered, just tap Send to Sibelius on the toolbar. Confirm the input in Sibelius, select the new part, and copy it. I'll now switch back to my score, and just paste the part into my flute staff. This example is fairly simple, but it's easy to see how straightforward the process becomes when using just the Surface Pro and the pen. To get started, let's create a new score. Just tap New Notate Me Score on the toolbar. Now we can choose an instrument. Notate Me Lite is limited to just one staff, but if you're using Notate Me Ultimate, you can tap the plus button to add additional instruments. You can also tap the ellipsis to reorder instruments, and the X button to remove them. Tap any staff to gain focus. Any handwriting will then be applied to it. Before we begin entering notes, let's take a look at some of the ways we can navigate around the score. At the top left of the screen you will find buttons to play back the notation and undo a previous operation. A redo button will also appear here once there is something to redo. There is also a navigation control. Drag your pen across it to quickly move around the score. At the top right is a full screen button. You might find it easier to write with the extra space of full screen mode. You can use standard pinch to zoom and drag to scroll operations with your finger, and you can tap the arrows on the left and right side of the screen to pan incrementally. The screen will also scroll for you as you write near the edge of the staff. There are three options for handwriting area placement, and they can be found under Notate Me, Handwriting Area. Bottom will show the handwriting area underneath the printed notation and can be useful on larger screens. Overlaid will superimpose the handwriting area onto the notation, while the handwriting gets converted into notation underneath as you write. The third mode, Bar by Bar, is similar to the overlaid placement. Bars are converted one at a time, and handwriting is removed after each bar is completed. Only the printed notation remains, which can also be edited directly with the pen. Since overlaid is the default mode, we'll use it for the rest of the video. The standard pen is the notation pen, which lets us handwrite directly onto the staff. To do so, just select the notation pen and draw a note or rest onto the staff. It will be instantly transcribed and played back. Bar lines are added for you, and multiple strokes can be drawn to clarify any misinterpretations. Tuplets are added automatically once the bar has been completed. Multiple voices are detected automatically from the stem direction. 
To insert a new bar, just double tap the beginning or end of an existing bar, and to erase an empty one, just flick up on the X in the middle of the bar. Selections in Notate Me are simple. Just draw a circle around objects to select them. Tap and drag a selection to move or transpose it, and flick a selection up or down to erase it. Tap and hold a selection to copy it, then tap and hold in an empty region to paste it. Signature and key changes, including the ones from the start of the score, can also be copied and pasted. The text and notation pen is only available in Notate Me Ultimate. It has the same features as the notation pen, but also supports text input. First, select the text and notation pen, denoted by the little A on the icon. Then, add a chord symbol by tapping the band above the handwriting area. An ellipsis indicates there are more options for the chosen chord. To add text such as lyrics and dynamics, tap the band below the handwriting area and enter the text with the pen. Enter an equal sign before a tempo and a period before a technique. The symbol and notation pen supports the same operations as the notation pen, but it also provides symbols that you can drag into your score. Notate Me Lite has a reduced symbol set, whereas Notate Me Ultimate contains many more. Just select the symbol pen and drag a symbol from one of the bands into the handwriting area. Some symbols have multiple variations. With the symbol selected, drag the pen up and down. The symbol will scroll through its variations as you drag. Time signatures, key signatures, and clefts can only be entered with the symbol pen. The eraser pen needs no explanation. Select the eraser from the pen area and draw through or tap an object to erase it. If you want to erase an object without leaving the notation pen, you can do that too. Just hold one of the surface pen's two side buttons and tap on an object. The red pen is only available in Notate Me Ultimate and functions much like Sibelius's annotation mode. Select the red pen and then enter comments and ideas onto the score. Markings made with the red pen will not be converted into notation. As you begin using Notate Me, you will notice a training indicator in the bottom left corner of the screen. Notate Me will learn from and adapt to your handwriting style over time. In fact, Notate Me never stops adjusting to your style, even if the training indicator reaches 100%. If you ever need to reset the training progress, tap and hold the eraser pen button. This can be useful if multiple people use the same surface. Once you have finished entering your music in Notate Me, you can transfer it to Sibelius for additional polishing. Just tap Send to Sibelius on the toolbar. Sibelius will provide a few different options during the import, and once the notation has been transferred, it can be edited just like any other Sibelius file. Photoscore and Notate Me is very powerful and has more features than can be covered in this video. While Notate Me Lite doesn't boast quite as many tools and symbols as Notate Me Ultimate, it still provides enough functionality to handwrite with ease. To learn more about the different options and techniques, check out the help guide within Notate Me. It's easy to read and contains many tips and tricks to get you writing fast. Entering notes into Sibelius via Notate Me in the Surface Pro 3 adds a new way to create, eliminating the step between sketch and score. If your workflow often begins with paper sketches, try sketching into Notate Me instead. When it comes time to entering the notes into Sibelius, you'll find the heavy lifting has already been done for you, and you can get on with the creative process. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out more Sibelius videos and features at Avid Blogs and also on the Avid web.